Gibraltar and the United Kingdom remain in the European Union for now. The Association of European Lawyers is assessing the challenges that the Brexit divorce process will throw up. It's exactly the sort of international cross-frontier problem that this network was designed to tackle. We are uh, an organisation that's based upon uh, trust and friendship and as a result it's far easier to refer work to people that you know and like. Uh, and so if a client instructs me back in the UK and says I want to do a piece of work in Gibraltar, I can pick up the phone to one of the guys that try and try and say, look, I've got this client, we look after him. We have lawyers in every European capital and in other European cities that we know, that we work with and we can recommend. So when we have transactions or people who are seeking advice in various jurisdictions of the European Union, we can provide them with a service that is unmatched by most other firms because we are working with people we know. Main issues that have been discussed here? Brexit, <laughs> as you might expect. Uh, we still don't know what that means back in the UK. Um, so um, from our perspective as a legal uh, organisation, it's, I think, even more important because uh, there's clearly going to be issues that are going to come out of Brexit. Uh, and as a result, we're going to need to deal with those. Uh, and I think that issue of being able to speak to each other and help each other out in, in sort of tight situations is going to be even more important. So uh, an association such as ours is, is really key for, for looking at uh, identifying uh, the problems that are going to come down the line in terms of Brexit whenever it does happen. Gibraltar is faced with a situation. We've had challenges in the past. We've overcome those challenges. And my own view is that Gibraltar will and should fight to remain in the single market to the extent that the United Kingdom negotiates any single market with the rest of Europe. Um, we have to try and achieve freedom of movement across the frontier and see how we can achieve that. But also what is important for Gibraltar and what is a silver cloud in what is at the moment slightly black skies is that we have achieved over the last 20 odd years or 30 years a single market in financial services and services with the United Kingdom. And I think it is extremely important to maintain that single market. We came out here in April as a bit of a fact-finding tour. Um, we sat in the back of the Sunborn Hotel where we are today, had a very nice drink and thought what a great location this would be for our AGM. Um, so it's, it's wonderful to be here and uh, it's just a very, very warm and friendly bunch of people that we've met already. Another of the main talking points at the AGM was how to increase the association's representation beyond the 41 different jurisdictions it currently operates in. They did so safe in the knowledge that their Gibraltarian and British lawyers want to remain part of this European network after the divorce becomes a reality.